Okay, so this is Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Um, they added a new Monster Wrangler vocation. There was new footage shown off at the Nintendo Direct broadcast. We're going to check that out. Um, it will feature a new vocation as well as customizable characters. Um, this was announced by um, publisher Square NH. And Dragon Quest Three HD 2D Remake is the chronological beginning of the Erdrig trilogy. Wait, so this is actually the first game? So this is a prequel, is what it sounds like, to the 1 and 2. Interesting. I didn't know that. Which will continue 2025. I didn't, that's why I didn't understand why is 1 and 2 coming out after. So this is coming out first because they're saying chronologically, like Kingdom Hearts and stuff. This should be the first one. Um, and we'll continue in 2025 where 1 and 2 are kind of HD. Uh, they're going to be HD 2D remakes coming out next year. And the perfect entry point for newcomers to one of the most influential franchises in gaming history. Is this the one that influenced um, Pokemon? Let me uh, pull that up. I'll pull it up at the end of the. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to pull it up at the end of this video because there's a lot of people that complain about Power World. It's not like Nintendo didn't do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. There we go, guys. Uh, let's. There's just like people that are fanboys of certain things and it's like, just stop. The HD, <laughs> the HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice. Ooh, I like this. Look at this customization. And more. With the new monster re selecting their. Let me see here. Warrior, martial artist, mage. Priest, merchant, gotta, got about. What's that? What's the gout about? Um, gout, gout, gout about. Um, thief, monster, wrangler. Their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new monster wrangler. Did you see this one? I think I saw a cheeky, cheeky. More. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster-like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use. Look at the cape movement and the environment. But that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. His cape looks like a face. I like that. That's cool. Well, cool. I like it, man. I like the customization. Long live uh, Dragon uh, Quest. Rest in peace, peace uh, Toriyama. Oh, did he pass away? That's sad. Okay. Well, cool. I love that they added extra customization. They added a new um, Monster Wrangler class. Or vocation, whatever you want to say. That's cool. Um, yeah, go check that out. I think that game's going to be a little cheaper. I don't think it's going to be 60. I think it's like 50 or 40 or something. So that's a nice little remake. Um, kind of like the... What were they called? Star Ocean? Was it Star Ocean? Those ones they remade. It looks kind of like that. I love that style. Like it realistic and also 2D pixel. Um, and the pixel art. I like it. 3D environment with 2D sprites. Yep. Yeah, I love that style. It's just so cool. So keep doing that. We'll do that with uh, more games. I like it. Square Enix. Keep doing it. Oh, and... But your game will live on. <laughs> Let's see. I'll show you this now. Um, Power World is ripping off Pokemon. Man, even someone like... They're still arguing about this seven months ago. This Power World came out even before that, I think, right? Um, Power World is ripping off Pokemon. Oh, wait. 
Pokemon, uh, wait, that is Pokemon ripping off Dragon Quest. But people still don't think it ripped off Dragon Quest, and it's like, what are you talking about? Right, I'll show you guys. Okay, so here we go. Can I zoom in? Yep. Okay. So you got this monster from Monster Quest, uh, Dragon Quest, and then you got this uh, Zubat. And then you got this. And it's also, uh, yeah. They don't look similar at all. I think it's at certain points they look very, very similar. Uh, they're saying, like, this design was the, was that Ratatata or something? Um, Pinsir. This one's not as close. There are some that are really close. Now, this guy that's like a rhino, kind of, I don't remember his name, but yeah, he kind of looks similar. The clam guy. They're saying the Chinese dragon, blue, probably blue dragon. This is a Gyarados. Some of them, Geo dude looks almost the same, but just he's a he's like a gray. Geo dude looks very similar. This guy, what is this? He got gas coming out of his belly button and his top. I want to see that guy in a game. I don't know why they always compare Dragon Knight. They look more like Charizard, man. But they always show Dragon Knight there. But yeah, they so show this, and then it's like, why are you complaining, dude? There's only so much you can do with like something like a caterpillar or something. It doesn't look like you copied it. Sure. <laughs> I love it, though. Like, yeah, you can tell like they're very inspired, at least by Dragon Quest. Uh, man, this person, this these people really need to touch grass. I know, man. He said again. <laughs> Hey, it's just because I see that stuff all the time with the Dragon Quest and the Pokemon. But then, like, people never seen this before. So people do need to see this when they complain about power. work. Can't complain about it. Um, games always copy designs and different things. Um, Pokemon did it too. And they're the biggest. Uh, Dragon Quest came first. And Digimon, was that before or after Pokemon? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, we want to talk about more about Pokemon Digimon. Go check out my Discord. Uh, bye bye, bye bye. See ya, see ya, see ya. Saying so long. Bye bye.